All right. Imagine, if you will, that you're a beginner and you've just, you know, modeled something in Blender that's, you know, you're kind of proud of and you want to show it off. But you don't have the time to create an elaborate background scene for it and all that stuff. You just want to show off what you created. Now, you could go to, like, to help out with lighting and so forth, you can go to like HDRI Haven and download an HDRI and then add an HDRI into the world background. And then you put it in uh, rendered mode. And although the monkey head look, looks good or whatever you create, it looks good. It's, it looks disconnected from the scene. I mean, it looks like it's floating above the scene. Why does it look like it's floating? Because there is no shadow. So how do we cast a shadow? Well, the simple answer is it's very simple. I know it's kind of rhetorical. All right, now let's go ahead and fix this so that a shadow is cast. All right, I'm going to add a plane add mesh plane and then I'm just gonna scale it up no particular amount just kind of an arbitrary amount and I'm going to grab this well actually let me rotate this monkey head just a little bit rotate get it like that and then grab this plane and grab on the z-axis and move it right up to the bottom of the monkey head or whatever object you're working on now with that plane selected click on this tab and then turn on shadow catcher now go back into camera view put it on rendered view and all of a sudden you have a shadow for your monkey head the um, shadow of the monkey is being cast cast onto that plane and that plane is serving as a shadow catcher so no matter where you move the camera to it looks like the monkey head is touching the ground for the most part now you may want to try to make your plane about the same color as whatever the uh, area is you're casting the shadow onto. That way, you can see if you look, you got reflections from the white shadow catcher shining up on the um, monkey head. Now, if I went to the plane, went to a material, and then just gave this, you know, kind of a darker gray color, more like the color of the ground, then it looks even more natural. But anyway, I think a lot of people, especially beginners, would find this useful. Guess that's it. Later, people.